looking at this pollution, right? Yeah. Is this that traffic circle we're supposed to go around? It kind of looks like it. Let's go to the left here. Um, okay. I mean, is it a traffic circle? I don't think so. Or is so. that up there? It's probably up there, dude. I don't think this is a traffic circle, is it? It's just I like a loopy loop. Uh, I don't know, man. Let's just go down there. All right. I feel Let's just die in the way. Just is that a, a big death. traffic circle over there? Let's just go straight. Sorry. <laughs> this is the you're seeing in the belly of the beast here. Yeah. This, uh, this, this, I'm, I'm literally, my lungs are not happy right now. No. I want to ask you, uh -huh. when it comes to, um, life in the West, uh -huh. what is it that you're grateful for? What am I grateful for? You know, honestly, that is mm -hmm. such a loaded question right now, because what I'm grateful for is probably a lot different than what I'd, you know, say if I was lusting after this chaos. Right. right now, I'm grateful for the fact that I can walk around outside with my daughter mm -hmm. and it's kind of quiet and there's no one trying to run us over and the air is clean and there's trees and a lawn, <laughs> all of these things. Right. That's what I'm right now so grateful for. What about right. you? Right. Be very careful. We're going to get hit. Are you, are you made it? Did yeah, you make I'm it? I'm right next to you, dude. Oh, okay. I didn't see. Right. I used to use a barrier. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Human shield, bike shield. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, when it comes to, to Western culture, uh, there are a lot of things that we've figured out, right? There's a lot of things that are vastly, vastly superior to what we're seeing going on around us. Right. Um, there are certain parts of Western culture which are inferior uh, to what's going on around us. Sure. But, um I would say, first of all, the fact that you can breathe, okay? Yeah, yeah. I, man, <laughs> there's, what, what else can you say? Just look at the air quality around us. This is not nighttime. This is the middle of the day. This is one of the first times in my life that mm. I'm actually taking shallow breaths just because it hurts. <laughs> yeah, and you're a smoker or an ex-smoker. Uh, an ex-smoker, yeah. That's how yeah. bad it is. Yeah. Um, Wow. Yeah. I don't know where it's going with this topic because I don't want to sound like an imperialist or something weird. But, um, <laughs> you know, the, sure. fact, the fact of the matter is um, uh, people that uh, are living in the West, number one, they can be very grateful that they don't live in this kind of pollution. Yeah. This is, this is awful. And um, this is what the developing world is. Um, I've experienced the same level of pollution in China when I go through the, the rural areas of China. Even the capital of China, sure, Beijing, sure. is like this from time to time. Um, India, you'll find uh, you know this kind of level of pollution too. Um, it's Pollution's a big deal, dude. You know, whenever I see people um, pulling these uh, green initiatives and stuff in places like California or whatever and it's like oh don't buy this plastic bag it's better for the environment and you know right. that kind of nonsense yeah. Yeah. I always like laugh it off I'm like what what's wrong with you guys do you know what you're even talking about right you know because I know what it, what the real deal is right but that being said I love the fact that they do that because it's it's going to have, even if it's a small effect, it has an effect. Yeah. You know, a good positive effect somewhere down the line. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Because it's preventing the Western world from looking like this. Right. You know? Right. And I, it's sad to say, and I hate to say, but it's also the Western world's fault sure. that everything looks like this because all the factories are being opened here. Sure. All the, the industry is being moved to Asia. It has been for years now. Right. You know? And so that's what has caused pretty much what we see around us. You know, it's such a double-edged sword because yeah. here you are and the people are happy and willing to look past this crap because they finally have some money, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we can be the bad guys and be like, well, we created this entire society and, and capitalist state that people need cheap products and there's demand for it. So let's push the, the industry to the little yellow man place, right? Sure. Where we don't have to see it. That's right. a very easy excuse. But at the same time, these yeah. factories, you know, are, are obviously polluting quite poorly, like quite badly, right? 
But I'm also looking at mountains of plastic bags being burned for right. no reason, right? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, could yeah. you could f up the ground and bury them or whatever, and that that'd be bad too. But you're literally creating plastic smoke with yeah. carcinogens that are poisoning your children, and that's not the West's fault. No, that's not. That's not. There's a lot of know. practices that contribute to pollution. I think people kind of um, blame the West for. And they, mm -hmm. they forget the real a lot of the real causes. Things like, honestly, things like fireworks, things like burning your garbage, um, things like unregulated exhausts. Um, all this kind of stuff really does add to pollution, believe it or not. No, it certainly does. It certainly does. Um, it's just terrible to see this sort of apocalyptic level of right, uh, existence right. that goes on here. Right. Uh, I think I just blocked this lady. Did you? Yeah, don't know what I can do. Just it's gonna spear me with this old plant. Is she? Yeah. There you go. She yeah. just waited her turn. Yeah, that's oh, nice of her. She speared me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I I just gotta say, man, is it's uh, it's depressing. Yeah. And you know what it does make me feel very grateful. Sure. Um, for not living here. I've been living for 14 years in China, uh -huh. having to deal with a uh, not as bad as this because Shenzhen is always fairly okay but uh, i've been in yeah, parts of china sometimes. that are like this right you know but the fact that we have the the privilege of not having to live in this kind of pollution and nonsense is is just uh something that should never be taken for granted no no you know? absolutely i just hope wow. things that you know education dude edu yeah. freaking cation yeah it's all down to education isn't straight it? yeah straight on um yeah, education I mean, and get to like stop some of the more preventable aspects of pollution and then right. you know it's down to it's actually developing an economy to where it doesn't have to be the manufacturer someone's got to make the stuff though and until we figure out a better way to do it then i don't know what we're gonna do yeah exactly well dude is there anything you want to sign off with because i don't know where we are but we're gonna have to pull over and okay. figure out where our hotel is supposed to be. Whether you guys have the option to come to see pollution or not. And by the yeah. way, I wanna th I wanna be make a little disclaimer here. Oh, yeah. If we had gone south, yeah, it wouldn't be like this. It would be sunny and hot and green. Yeah. But we are specifically in the industrial area of Vietnam right now, and it's worth seeing because this wasn't like this that long ago. So yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. think it's a good thing to address. Um, I agree too. But there's no blame being thrown around other than the people that are burning freaking plastic in their yard. Oh, man, I just, I've got nothing but sympathy for people that have to live in this every day. I know. Because I know. I've, I've lived in it. Right. I've lived in it and it's not good. There's nothing good or positive about living in I pollution. I live in freaking Huizhou, I know it is. Yeah, Huizhou is kind of like this, isn't it's it? It's not even close. No, it's, but it's, it's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right, guys. Wherever we went with this, just want to say that uh, we appreciate you watching us and uh, appreciate that we can share this with you and hopefully raise some awareness. Sure. And we love you guys all the same. So until next time, you know the drill. As always, unlike this terrible pollution, like I said before, stay awesome.
ADV China every Monday, same time, same place. Wednesdays, Lao 86, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, on Friday, just in time for a beer, Serpent's at A.